began its hearings this week to investigate how prepared the U.S. was against possible terrorist attack prior to September 11th. You've heard what I think came out of it. Anybody else have any uh, other things they want to say? Well, we're trying to blame Bush. He was in the office for 10 months. Clinton was there for eight years. But even Clinton. But Clinton. he had bigger things in his mind. Mona Lewinsky's ass. <laughs> but don't you think blaming either one of them is crazy? It was Bin uh, Laden. I do. Yeah, no, because it's a, it's really the airline's fault because they they like uh, Israel Airline, whatever that's called. No, but, no, yeah, they have cheap flights, and I think that they uh, like they had security, so we didn't have security because we don't want security. So really, it's our fault. You know what I mean? Because we don't want to be inconvenienced. Right. You know, Americans. I'm a Bin Laden, and I thought the airlines did a great job <laughs> staring us out of uh, America after 9-11. They gave me a kosher meal. I was very satisfied. So you're one of the Bin Laden family. I'm one of the Bin Laden, yes. <laughs> you, can't, you, here's the thing, you can't win because had, had they gone after Bin Laden and killed him, and then the attacks uh, right. occurred anyway, people would be screaming, look, you killed him, you brought the wrath of Al-Qaeda on this country, and then if the attacks never came, they still would have been saying that the attacks were racially motivated or anti-Muslim or, you know, anti Diabetic. There's no way to actually do that right. and win because people want to bellyache no matter what. So you there's no way to prevent. So it. you think that? Go ahead. I was saying intelligence failures are epidemic in this country. We didn't see the Japanese coming. We didn't see the British. <laughs> didn't see the uh, Falkland Islands getting attacked. Sharon Stone thought the practice was a good career move. <laughs> These things. Mistakes. Happen. Exactly. You're Bush, right. I disagree with you. Bush should have seen it coming because he, Bush was <laughs> the, his father is in bed with the Bin Laden family. <laughs> Not necessarily in bed. Maybe bent over a dumb in a back alley with him, <laughs> but he has been paid very handsomely by the Carlisle Group, and when I say handsomely, I mean his checks have an ascot and a smoking jacket. They should have seen it coming. I agree with him, whatever yeah. he said. Oh, come on. Nobody yeah. can see anything coming. Why are we blaming ourselves? I think you got a good point. You know, we're like the uh, girl who's being molested by her uncle for 10 years. It's not our fault. You can't see it coming. It's the uncle's fault. Well, 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 wait, you know, like Kim would say, you know what? Your uncle had a right to molest you. He had a short skirt on. That's a hippie. Wait, I, I did it once. They, 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 they did it on March 11th, like the 11th. And the, you can't stop these terrorists. You just don't travel. <laughs> Look, well, that that doesn't affect your career. I know. That's why I stay in town. <laughs> Not to get that off was... the subject, but you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of times, your niece does wear a little skirt, and you don't you don't intend for things to happen. But it's not always the uncle's fault. <laughs> but so yes, was that you're going going to line? <laughs> no, that is a good point. Don't you feel sometimes like? Everyone, like, when everyone said root causes, the first thing I thought was, oh, it's like saying to the rape victim exactly that. It's like saying, oh, you were asking for it with your lax immigration policies. You know what right. I mean? Right. It's kind of like blaming, uh, you know, blaming the, the person that got attacked. That's actually, that was sort of the point I was trying to make. That's what upsets me, is that they were foreign. Mine, too. Yeah. These are the kind of things that are important in our <laughs> little world. Now, listen, <laughs> the Supreme Court is considering the case of Larry Heaven, a Nevada cattle rancher who was arrested for refusing to reveal his name or show an ID when police stopped him. Now, aside from the name is Hibble, nobody wants to say their name when it's Larry Hibble, but... It sounds like I'm a blue collar. What do you think? Should you I have think to say your name when the cops go, what's well, your name? Well, first of all, I just think the guy had a fight with his girlfriend, so he's already pissed. The cops had a hard on. The guy probably didn't want it. He came up and said, what's your name? First of all, the cop can just... Can he just run his plates? The cop was just being a, you know, a douche, whatever I can say on air, you know what I mean? And, uh, it's like when a, it's like when a but cop- But you mean a douche? Yeah, like, like, douche for saying I'm not telling you my name No, too? it's like when a cop comes up and says, uh, uh, you know why I stopped you? It's like, uh, you smelled the pot in the glove compartment? You know what I mean? You're not supposed to- It's like, let them do their job. Right. Run the plates. But I what if you're walking? You should be able to, you should have to tell them your name. Especially in this day of terrorism, I mean. You know, we, should, not Arab, we you know? should make it tough on the cops to figure out who's who. But then again, if you see like an Arab guy hanging out at Grand Central at two in the morning, we already know his name. It's Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> but is that like, is that how Great we show. that snide as a group? Like that's our idea of assertiveness and individuality. Like the cops stopped me and I didn't tell him my name, man. Like, is that our idea of being like individuals and living? It's ridiculous. Who cares? Tell the cop your name. Your name is no what one. Could, oh, sorry. Uh, no, I said, what could you possibly you do illegally? You never got in a fight with your girlfriend and you didn't want to, you just didn't want to talk to people. When I used to get yeah, in tell the cops my name was John Doe, they would arrest me. But even when you said John Doe, then they still arrested you and put your name down as John Doe. Oh, that was time, a good point to make. Well, it's true. <laughs> and one time I got arrested, I swear to God. When, this is true. I go to, uh, I'm in the bullpens downtown, and then after two days, I forgot I was drunk when they arrested me, so I forget I'm named John Doe. So then they're calling your case up, you know? So I'm sitting in the cell, me and all the brothers sitting there. They go, John Doe, John Doe. So I'm like, oh yeah. So I start walking through all the black dudes trying not to touch it. And this one big brother goes, John Doe, yo man, where you from? Main Street, any town USA? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was Chris Rock doing in jail? <laughs>
No, I think, you know, I was raised in a very liberal household. My mother used to, instead of reading to me uh, Cat in the Hat, she read my Miranda rights and then gave me a cavity search, and I missed those. But I, the people committing I the crimes, things, but the, committing, the people committing the crimes, I watch cops. Yeah. They, their faces, they have no facial features. That's, those are the people we should round up. Those are dragging victims. The, pe they, the people without faces. But do you think, let's just go around, who thinks that you should be forced to say a name, who thinks you should? You should. You should. No. You should be. Have to. You, so you should say your name. Fine. I got a question. When's the audience <laughs> going to get here? <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying the show on a different level. Yeah. Well, not everybody has to be like, they're on a right? different show. No, they're not. They're not like that. They're watching a bunch of network. hysterical people. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, and I could be wrong, he could be right. Either the audience hates the show, which I don't think is true, <laughs> no. or they just kind of are laid back like, yeah, we're yes. enjoying this on a show. As yeah, usual, the Colin is right. That's why you wanted a comedy show, paraplegics. <laughs> We'll be right back into this message. <laughs> oh. Now, speaking of censorship, hip hop activists worldwide, and that means that includes Iceland, that are, yeah, are yeah, outraged yeah. at MTV asked rapper Kanye West to edit his new video, All Falls Down. Here are the lyrics in question. He says, because they make us hate ourselves and love their wealth. That's why Shorty's hollering where the ball is at. Drug deals by Jordans, crackhead by crack, and a white man gets paid off all of that. And I saw it last night on Def Jam, providentially, uh, Def Poetry. Now they dropped the word white in white man. Now what do you guys think about it? Should they have dropped the word? Well, obviously, even if they dropped the word white, we know who they're blaming. They're not blaming the West Indians. Right. <laughs> white, they hate us. They I just hate like, our guts. I, I just think... like that five white guys are talking about this. Why? We're not allowed to talk about We're still in charge. charge. We're still in charge. That's my point. Oh, no, I'm good one, Kev. you what? I think, wait, wait, wait. I'm MPB, the, we're I'm in the... charge. You think this opinion on this show is like the prevalent opinion in the media and show business? No, is that no one's even going to bring it up in show business? Because the people that are in charge, I'm not saying they're not white, but their opinion is like, oh, yeah, sweep it under the rug. Don't even talk about this. It's uncomfortable. It's very simple. If you want to be politically correct, instead of white man, he could have just said superior American. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus, that's racist. <laughs> I'm going to say Go something ahead. which hopefully can be amusing, or at least let him have it, Skip. Now, I forgot my whole Kanye West. Uh, it'll be good. It'll oh, be good. here it is. I know it'll be good. Kanye West, that's not halfway. We're not going to cut most of this shit, I hope. No. Um, <laughs> we go halfway. Oh, really? You want to leave this nonsense in? Half, halfway to hell. Here's what happens. Look at his hair. What happened? <laughs> Kanye. Nothing. Go ahead. Oh. All right, here's my go point ahead. on the whole hey. bloody... I will go. Quit saying go ahead. I want to hear it. Let me go. I have my laughing hat on. Kanye West. <laughs> Let him have it, Skip. The bottom line is this. If you read the lyrics of those songs, uh, you will see that he's blaming, he's saying that, yes, drug dealers buy Jordans because the white man gets paid. So even drug dealers are being victimized by the white corporations <laughs> because they buy their Jordans from them. And then he says... They make us hate ourselves, so they buy a lot of products. Like the rest of the world is not filled with white. Everybody who buys products because we hate ourselves and because advertising makes us all hate ourselves. That's what... I can't take it anymore. That's why they drink it again. <laughs> That's why they're drinking a gallon of Mountain Dew, because they hate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still ripped. That's what pisses me off. They're not ripped. I, I don't even think white man's an insult. Why is that an insult? You know, if someone says... you. That, no. I noticed that. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that haircut hasn't done much for us. That's a fine compliment. You're a white man. Thank you. And a good day to you, too, sir. <laughs> you call a black guy, sir? <laughs> I know Patrice was throwing around the word cracker yesterday, our black friend. They didn't have a problem with that. We all know cracker is the equivalent of b right? right? Whoa, what? Are we Whoa. still on air? Hey, I, I'm offended. Excuse me. I'm going to get blaked anyway. It's true. Me, I happen to be, I have some black blood. He's remembered the big... I don't agree with my car, but still, it's a... <laughs> I use black blood. What did you do? <laughs> you got black blood. What did you do, burn a bangle? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> no, I, was, I don't let my children listen to hip-hop music because in my day, we had lyricists, people who James told a Taylor. story. James Tom Dorsey, Taylor, Tommy Dorsey, Dorsey. who that. knew how to write songs they with told lyrics. Him. Like, I want to bust my nut all over my biatch's face. Things that told a story. Not yeah, today, yeah, with yeah. Told a story. Not, I don't know what they're singing. Right. It's, when it's an acoustic guitar, it sounds different. Yeah. 
All right, let's move on. Ads for erectile dysfunction and sexual performance products are turning up everywhere. Okay? There's these ads all over the place. What do you guys think? Anyone want a sample? First of all, I got some lovely Viagra. I, big I, boys. I am... Uh, is that real? No, it's that real? Stupid I'm offended by it. I don't think... Can right. I First of all, can I say one thing before we start? Yes, dear. This idiot just said, is that real? But go ahead. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I have a giant bottle of Viagra, you... <laughs> well, you have integrity. You never fake things. That's why I thought it would be real. Because you... Oh, quit it. trying to, again, play false humility so I look like a prick. You do look like a prick. <laughs> Yeah, what were you going to say, well, fella? The women in the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> First of all, uh, the commercial... Hey, the... kid, I was speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guest here? I saw that. I, saw... I knew that wasn't going to get through. Viagra? I knew that so wasn't going to get through. Dickhead Viagra? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. You did come on. Go ahead, fella. I was making one. Somebody lean back. Shut I up. thought that man Nick, could jump in. Talk. <laughs> what, are you going to talk or not? I'm going to jump in. Yeah! What's the hurry? Because it's a half it's hour. No, it's true. Well, you don't Brandon, understand. You're... Brandon has a bad temper too. Not as bad as Nick, but he's pretty close. Bad temper and a bad Brandon's had barber. more little fights in that stupid hallway <laughs> than like a drunken <laughs> Russian customer from Brighton Beach. What'd you Go say? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nick. The uh, the research that you gave us, the articles about a woman complaining because the ads were too explicit with these this Viagra right. and all this other stuff, which I disagree. Have you seen the ad for Levitra? They don't even tell you what it is. It's like a guy throwing a football through a tire swing, and he misses. Then he takes a couple pills, and the next three go right through it. I don't even. What is that pill for? Is that for guys with inaccurate ejaculations? I don't. I don't. Guys, guys trying to get his guys trying to get his wife pregnant. He's knocking over lamps and she's running around. I'm open. Hit me. I'm on. Boy, that was worth waiting for. It was. Go ahead, slap. I want to make a point. Of I'm, I'm saying she's everybody else. So oh you can no, speak. it's not that great a point. It was just um, I take Viagra, and it's not a matter of people like, well, do you need that? It's like no. Sometimes you just want to punish somebody. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I don't think you need Viagra during sex to punish whoever you have sex with. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, 